Good morning, boys and girls. I am so excited to read to you my favorite Christmas story. Um, have you ever wished that you had a mustache? Hmm, maybe you've never thought about it, but would you like a mustache? The story is about a moose who has a mustache. Only his mustache is very long is very long and sometimes that makes some problems for him but my story is called Mosletoe. It is written by Marjorie Palatini and illustrated by Henry Cole. Let's find out about Moustache. This is called Mosletoe. Twas the season and Moose was merry. He joyfully tickled, tickled the ivories with a tune full of tidings and a flurry of falalas. He was so full of ho ho hos, even his mustache had the holiday spirit. Look at that mustache moving around. But Moose was more than just a bit merry and bright. He was busy, busy, busy. There was a lot to be done on his list of to-dos. With an orderly organization, a bit of regimentation, and lots of imagination, and just plain old moose know-how, getting ready for the big day should have been simple. Easy. Yes. In all probability, just perfectly perfect. Look at that long list of things he has to do to get ready. Wow. He wasted not one merry minute. Moose got moving and put some hustle into his holiday bustle. He went to work. He wrote cards and letters till his hooves hurt. Check. So when you check something off of your list, that means you've done it. He shopped until he dropped. Check. He hauled home boxes and bags and presents galore. Moose had gifts for everyone stacked from the ceiling to the floor. Check, check, check. Then he wrapped, yo, yo, yo. And he ribboned, ho, ho, ho. And on each and every package, he tied a big, blue, beautiful bow. Check and double check. So far, so simple. So perfectly perfect. Another look at the list and Moose headed for the kitchen. He pulled out the pots, pans and bowls. He sifted through stacks and racks of cookbooks. He whisked with his left and spooned with his right. Moose baked tons of tins of cookies. Check. Dozens of cakes, breads and sweets. Check, check and check. He made jellies, sticky jams. Moose roasted a goose and some chestnuts. He toasted marshmallows and yams. Check, 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 and triple check. Yes, yes, so simple, so easy. And of course, perfectly perfect. Decorations were up next on his list of things to do and get done. So Moose decked the halls, then spruced up the walls. He beaded, bowed, and mooseltoed. He gathered garlands, wrote wreaths, and holly, jingled bells, sang noels. Oh, good golly, this moose was so jolly. Check, 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 and check. Last but not least, he hung up the stockings, each and every one with special care. And just in time, too, Santa would soon be there. Check and final check. Yes, sirree, getting ready for Christmas was an absolute snap. And so simple, so easy. And if he did say so himself, Moose thought so totally, utterly, completely, perfectly, Perfect. Wow, he did a lot of stuff, didn't he? On that night before Christmas, Mother, Little Sissy, Bucky, and Junior looked all through the house. 
What a job Moose had done. Everything looked so beautiful. Festive, quite fine indeed. There was just one problem, if you will. Oh dear, sighed the missus as the five stared at the empty corner. Oh my, oh me, oh gee. Pop, what happened? You forgot the tree. Ooh, can't have Christmas without a tree. Oops, where would they hang the tinsel? String the popcorn, light the lights. Where would Santa leave the gifts for the kitties on that Christmas Eve night? Oh. So Moose pulled on his galoshes and put on his hat. He would find a tree somewhere, somehow, and that's all there was to that. So out went the moose, braving blustery blowing winds and the cold, trudging through snowdrifts, courageous and bold. Moose first hoofed it down to the corner. Not a tree to be had. Then he slid around the block. Uh-oh, things were looking bad. He went down every boulevard, street, and little road. He looked down lanes and alleys. Every tree had been sold. There wasn't a branch, not a twig, not even one lousy bolus bough hanging around. Nope, not a nothing. Not a tree to be found. Can you see how it says, sold out, sold out, sold out, eek. No tree, sighed the moose as he came home empty handed that snowy eve. The kids tried to make the best of it. They said, oh, so who needs a tree? But Moose could plainly see they were short on glee. He knew he had to do something, and that's just what he did. In the empty corner, he stood and spread his arms out very wide. Then he smiled at his children, and he winked at his bride. Kids, he declared. Fetch your forgetful pot some of that tried and true family glop. Do you know what glop is? It's glue. So back came the kids carrying a big pot of glue and without a word to one another, they knew just what to do. They each took a part, grabbing strands, taking hold, then carefully, oh, so carefully, they glopped, they plopped, they pasted, and they pressed. They curled and they twirled every way a little follicle could fathom. Until Moose's magnificent moustache was indeed even more of a marvel to see. You want to see what it looks like now? Pretty cool, huh? Moose was just a few needles um, shy of being an evergreen tree. They strung Moose with lights from his head to his toe and draped him with tinsel, beginning right with his nose. They hung balls that were shiny and bells that twinkled, candy canes, berries, and plums, sugar sprinkled. Then they all stood back and Junior plugged in Pop. <gasps> oh. Yes. Moose truly was one incredible sight. He was glorious and glowing, and oh boy, oh boy, was he bright. Then Junior placed the star on top of Moose's head. He gave him a kiss and a pat, and they all headed off to bed. Except Moose, of course. He stayed in the corner instead, still twinkling and blinking and waiting for Santa. Oh, it wasn't so simply so it wasn't so simple and it wasn't so easy, but okay, okay. It wasn't so perfectly perfect. But do you know what? It was pretty close. Then right there it says hope, hope, hope. Do you know why I love this book so much? It's pretty funny. But one of the reasons I love it too is because it talks about win-win. 
Moose did all of the work by himself. But in the end, they had to work together to really make it special. And in our classroom, we say, together is better. Thanks for listening to my favorite Christmas story. Bye.